Yo, is my hair really that big? I'm in front of the van right now, on high. Girls still popping. She ain't going nowhere at all. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today, I have another wig video for you guys. I'm so excited to be able to do these. I don't know why, it's kind of out of my comfort zone, but at the same time, I'm having fun with it. And you seem to enjoy them, so I'm just gonna roll with it. This one's a little different because my last video I did, I did a headband wig first. And that was from a brand called Love Me Hair. And then not long after that, I got an email from Love Me Hair and they asked me if they could send me another wig to review. So <laughs> I'm literally like, what? Me? Little old me? Well, of course. So this is the package that I got right here. And I cannot wait to show you guys which wig they sent. It is a little different from what I normally wear, so I'm also excited about that because I love switching up my hair, but like I said, I don't switch up my natural hair a lot, so this is a great way to do it. Before we get into the unboxing, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family so you know the drill. Please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. We're just doing a little bit of everything on this channel. We're doing hair, makeup, contacts, nails, fitness, just beauty in general. So if you're gonna wanna see what wig I got and how I install, put it on, whatever you wanna say, this is a nice little throw and go, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So I don't know about y'all, I realized I was kind of doing this wrong. So I usually don't wear a wig until my hair gets dirty and I don't want to do anything with it. But most of the videos that I watch show people like washing their hair, braiding it, putting oil and conditioner and all that stuff on their scalp and then putting the wig on. And that's how they keep them on for long periods of time. I've never been able to do more than three days, but I guess that makes sense if I'm putting it on dirty hair. So yeah so we're gonna get into this unboxing again this is from the brand love me hair i'm not sure how i found out about the company but i bought a lace front wig from them originally and then just started falling in love and buying different ones so i have u part i have uh 360 lace i have a I have different textures. I have kinky straight, I have water wave, I have headband wigs. There's one I have that's a little shorter, it might be 10 inches. That I actually wore for my birthday. I can insert a picture of that one. Not this past year, but year before. So I just, I love all of their products. Their shipping is super fast and they always have really good sales and discounts. So I always feel like I'm getting a good deal. One other thing I will tell you guys, they have an amazing point system. I don't know how the points add up, but when you get to a certain number of points, I'll also put that here on the screen, they give you a discount towards your purchase. So make sure you use your email address if you sign up to order a wig from them so that you can get your points because then that's additional money off. So we'll get into the unboxing. Y'all know this purple box, if you've heard the brand, comes with this paper, and then almost all of their wigs come with the same thing in it. And I saw that some people were complaining about that, but they said, unless you order specific things, that's just how they package it. I have quite a few of these little bags, but I think they're super cute. You get two wig caps, which is pretty standard with most wigs that you order. And then in this little bag, you have your Love Me Hair scarf. You have an elastic band, which I guess you can sew this in if you want to. And then you have a pair of tweezers. You have a baby hair brush. We already know I ain't wearing this, but somebody will. And then you have some bobby pins. All right, so I'm gonna insert a picture, but this is the throw on and go short jerry curl headband wig. It does come did it come with headbands? Are they in here? This is not right wig. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Hold on a second. I don't know what wig this is. Lord help me. See what I said? I I just bought this wig. So hold on, this is not the right wig. I was gonna cut this out, but it's too funny. This is also a Love Me Hair package. Your girl is tripping. So this is actually <laughs> the bad thing is I don't even know what that other wig is. Oh my god, I gotta look at my stuff. Okay, well, second unboxing for the product I should have been opening. All right. <laughs> I know I should be ashamed, Lord help her. Okay, this is what the wig comes in. It comes in this little purple bag. Here are the headbands. You get the same headbands every time. People complain, I don't really care because I have yet to wear them. I just wear the black. Um, and then again, like I said, they send the same thing. So this is a whole different box, same thing. And I'll show you because I think, yep, this brush is a different color. So completely different package, but you get the same stuff. This is, as I was saying, <laughs> a throw on and go short jerry curl headband wig. You do get five headbands. And I believe this is the really, this is the eight inch. Let me double check. Yeah, this comes in eight inches only. So she is short. Now I have never worn a wig this short, but I feel like this would be really cute. I've kind of wanted a headband wig to wear to like, to the gym and to different events. But like, if it's hot, it's not gonna be all on my neck and get tangled. So this is the paper and it had the little net around it. Y'all, that is short. <laughs> that is really short but we gonna see what it do this is in 1b is the color so i'm gonna go ahead and put my hair up and we're gonna get this on and i am gonna try to wear this like i normally wear my wigs which is i leave my hair out in the front like a bang like a little swoop get that little baby hair brush or i could use this um to try to leave this out. I'm not sure how it's gonna look with the hair texture being this curly, but I don't know. I might just kind of try to wear it like a little baby fro. I've always wondered what I would look like wearing that. So it does come with a comb right here. And then it also has two combs here on the side. And then there should be yep, one here in the back. There are no adjustable straps on this one. No, there are no adjustable straps. So. Let's go ahead and put her on and see what happens. Oh my goodness. I probably should have put my wig cap on, but that's all right. No, let's go ahead and be smart about this. All right, let's try this again. I feel like with this texture though, this is gonna be fine. Ow. All right, that was a no-go. <laughs> we are not putting this on like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my wig grip because I just feel like this helps protect around the edges of my hair too. Because once the wig is on that, it is not gonna slide back and you don't have to use the combs which tend to pull on your hair, so. Let's try this again. I feel like this cap may be a little smaller than my other one too. There we go. Yeah, I do feel like it's a little smaller. The cap is a little smaller, but don't make it work. Y'all, <laughs> let me back up so y'all can see this. I've always wondered what I would look like with my natural hair if I decided to not relax it anymore. And I've only hoped that it would look and have a some type of decent curl pattern. So we're about to see if I can make this look like it's a little something, especially with me not slicking down the front of my hair, if this is gonna be a little bushy. I think it's gonna be cute. But this one you definitely have to, the other ones I don't wear the headband with because I'm just like, 
whatever, it's fine. But this one you're gonna have to because you can see it in the back. Let me turn around so you guys can see. Back here, you can actually see the strap. So you wanna co cover that up. So we'll pick a headband later, but right now, this is the hair. So yeah, this is eight inches, which you go by how it looks stretched out. I'm gonna go ahead and put some styling products in here to kind of get it to loosen up a little bit and see if we can make this look a little more, less like a fro and maybe like <laughs> curly tamed curls so let's see so right now I'm just gonna take some water and <laughs> let's see what happens no all right we're gonna try some conditioning mist see I just want it to soften it up a little bit but I feel like the more I run my fingers through it, the more it's going to <laughs> I've just never seen myself with short hair like this. So, okay, this is doing something over here. All right. Okay, there we go. Ooh, I was about to say, honey. Pull this forward like I don't even know what to do there is a little bit of shedding with this but I'm also not being very gentle so do I want this flag what do I want with this yeah okay let's get this down All right, now we're starting to get somewhere. The curls are wet. They're starting to fall a little bit so they're not just sticking straight up. <laughs> yeah, baby, I couldn't do that. Okay. I'm not sure how this looks with the front of my hair being out so much. And honestly, I feel like this wig cap is kind of small, so I don't even know if I could pull it down more in the front to make it cover more of my hair. So that might be a little bit of an issue. Your girl has a big head, so I don't know if this is big head friendly, but I think I have room to pull this down some more. But definitely you gotta put some product in this because when it first comes out the box, it feels a little hard and the curls just do not move. But right now this is loosening up and they feel soft and bouncy. You can see the texture is a lot different and the curls are actually falling versus just sticking straight up like they're moving. So I don't know, it's just something about, I wanna try to do a side little part and I'm not sure this is gonna want to pull this off like that, but we're gonna keep trying because I am relentless in what I want. So I definitely think I like it better with the part. But yeah, this would be just like, this is for real throw on and go. You don't have to worry about trying to do much to style it once you get it the way you want. Straight out the pack, if I had somewhere to go right now, I would be losing it. So we're gonna see, this is the first, I think I'm good with this for the first look. So this is with a little bit of a side part, a little bit of a, I'm gonna fluff this side out a little more, but a little bit of a side part and a little bit of more of the wet curly look. Let me come in close to you guys. I hope you guys can see the texture of the hair. And then I'm gonna try to push it back off my face a little bit and pull it down a little more and see if we can make that work. All right, so this is with the part more to the back. No part, I mean, just push back. And then 
pulled a little more forward on my forehead, which I think this makes it look a little better. <laughs> I've talked so much <laughs> crap about a fro that I never thought it would look good on me. Let me see how it looks with a headband on. So we're just gonna try, just do pink. Can I fit this on my head though, Lord? <laughs> Y'all, is my head really that big? All right, uh, this band is not gonna cover enough in the back, but we won't worry about that. This is just to put on the front and see, because I never wear the headbands. I always just wear the black. I've always wondered what I would look like with a fro, and I guess now I have an answer. I'm not mad about it. I mean, it is like super different for me, so I think that's why I'm kind of like, but I love the texture. I feel like this would literally be me maybe with not completely a fro, but if I did maybe like a light texturizer on my natural hair, I have no idea what my curl pattern is. I can't even tell you, so don't ask. But yeah, this is it for the look. She cute, I ain't gonna lie. She cute, it's different. It is very different. But the hair feels soft. You definitely have to keep it wet because it's gonna shrink up when it dries. So if you don't want it to be too short, but then again, I don't know, maybe you do want it short and you want it to look like a little Afro puff. So totally your choice. I definitely like the side part better, but I just wanted to see what it would look like with the little front part as well. So, or I'm sorry, just push back as well. So. All right guys, so now it's time to put this wig to the real test because I have to work out today. I'm gonna be benching, so hopefully she stays in place when I'm sliding on the bench trying to get in position as well as doing my accessories. So we are in the garage and I'm gonna take you guys just through some little clips to see and then I will show you what it looks like after I'm done. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. Day we hustle, but the night we. Know that the ride or die. I'm a OD boy. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. My name came up a lot of sounds, more when I was not around. Certain people that I know, they ain't no longer about. My name came up a lot of sounds, more when I was not around. Certain people that I know, they ain't no longer about. My name came up a lot of sounds, more when I was not around. Certain people that I know, they ain't no longer about. My name came up a lot of sounds, more when I was not around. Certain people that I know. Know that the ride or die, I keep boys by my seat. Know that the ride or die, I keep boys by my seat. Day we hustle, but the night we. Know that the ride or die. Know that the ride or die, I keep boys by my seat. Know that the ride or die, I keep boys by my seat. Brothers, my guys, know that they fly. Know that they fly. Know that they ride or die. Cody's brothers, my guys, know that they fly. Know that they fly. Know that they ride or die. CJ Ike, they ain't no longer about. They ain't no longer about. They ain't no longer about. Don't let the ride or die. I keep waving my 
high, curls still popping. She ain't going nowhere at all. Gym approved. All right, so I just finished working out. This is what the wig looks like. I mean, it's a little poofier. It is definitely dry. Of course, I was in the freaking wind in the fan. So this is what it looks like in the back. It is a little mush now because I was benching and sliding, but this did not move. Like, didn't go anywhere. I mean, I can pull on it. It's not moving. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off so you guys can see. I just put this headband on because my hair is wrapped underneath here because I just washed it last night. But all I did was I put the combs right in front of where I have my stocking cap, so my wig cap. So I'm just gonna take the combs out, pull them forward so they don't rip my hair out and then take it off. And this is my hair underneath. So you can see I got a little bit of crimping right here because that's where the comb was, but it is that easy. Held up, didn't move, love it. So that is it for this video. This is the Love Me Hair eight inch throw, it, throw on and go jerry curl wig. So if you've been interested, wanted to know what this looks like, I didn't use any mousse or anything like that. You could probably also do that to define the curls more, but I like how this looks. And look, we got a little bounce, got a little something going on. So it's cute. Thank you, Love Me Hair, for sending me this wig. It definitely will get some use. And I'm going to keep buying their products. I love their wigs. No complaints at all from me from anything that I bought from them. And now I'm honored to work with them. So thank you again. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're liking the hair videos because I do want to do more. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.